Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for viewing, liking and subscribing. It's deeply appreciated by each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Genuinely appreciate it guys. Moonology, what's going on for the collective energy? And these soulmates and separation, what's the current energy? What is it, Spirit, that you would like the collective energy to know at this time concerning these soulmates? Surrender to the divine. You're very close to achieving your goal. Take time to breathe out. Communication is key. You and your loved ones are safe. Step out of your comfort zone. So somebody got to get out of their own way. They're in a comfort zone. They need to surrender. They're very close to achieving your goals here. Be proud of yourself. Breathe through the tension. Step up and lead. Go deeper. Unleash your kind of self. So, somebody needs to lighten up. And step out of their comfort zone. This is complacency. Somebody has become complacent. Hmm. I'll dive a little deeper. They need to step up and they need to lead. Nourish yourself. Ask your soul. Somebody's got to step up and do some healing. This is soul love. Your light being, Spirit is saying, it's an inward revolution. So someone is turned inward instead of turning outward. They become complacent, hiding their emotions, their feelings. They're comfortable. They're safe that way. You know what I mean? Listen to your inner voice. Their inner self is telling them what to do. They're doing some soul work. They're going inward, which is good. They're asking their soul, is this soul love your light beings? I think this person needs to lighten up. And they need to step out of their comfort zone. Afraid to go deep in their emotions. Afraid to go inward. Mm. Makes me very uncomfortable. So they're angry. They're angry at some injustice. They don't trust. Which is why they stay in this comfortability zone, you know, guarded, protected. Give me a break. They're going through a tower. <laughs> That's the truth. It's an internal struggle. What's this person? 
what do they need to do? Well, they need to communicate. For one, communication is key. <laughs> they need to go deeper. This person is unstable. They have fears. They don't trust. They need to go deeper. So they stay in a position where it's comfortable for them, you know? They need to get out of their comfort zone. They're stressing out. This is anxiety, sleepless nights, fear, worry, wounds. Well, something to do with communication is key. So they want a new opportunity with the Queen of Wands. This is who they were gifted. Then they started talking to another lover, dealing with another lover. This could be this person's pattern. It is safer for them to just stay in their little comfort zone instead of stepping outside the box. But all they're doing is stressing themselves out. They hurt you, but when they hurt you, they hurt themselves. Give me a break. So they hide themselves behind their work. That's their form of escapism. They're an escape artist. Oh, we're getting too serious here. I gotta get away. <laughs> They're running from their own feelings and their emotions. This person has a lot of baggage. They care more about what people think of them, what their reputation looks like. They're burdened by a family situation. Flare energy. It's just like closed off, detached from their own emotions. Secrecy. Maybe it's traditional beliefs. Maybe they're comfortable. They're light beings. So this is light beings. These are star people. These are people with divine gifts and they hide behind their cloak of religion or for their doctrines, what they've been taught. Traditional beliefs. Yet they're a light being and they're scared. They hide behind their comfort zone. Fear of judgment. That's why they made an offer to someone else instead of you. Stuck in their ego. Because mm. someone said to block you. They're insecure. 
variant. See? That's why this person is always can never make up their mind is indecisive. They listen to other people. The doctrines of others. This could be religious beliefs. This could be they're a light being. They're a spiritual being. But they're too insecure. They're afraid of people judging them. <laughs> so they choose a devil? Seriously? Because they're codependent? That's their destiny. That's their karma. They add stability. They're feeling, okay, so they're feeling like a fool. So this is jealousy. This is win at all costs. This is like listening to this karmic judging you. Afraid of judgment. Oh, do you know that the collective, they're spiritual? You know we're religious. That goes against our traditional beliefs here. Friends. Third parties. Hmm. I can't believe it. This person needs to get out of their comfort zone and stand up and draw the line in the sand. They're passionate about the Empress. They're in love with the Empress. And they need to close off this cycle that they're in. It's their soulmate. They're in love with this. They're light beings. Hmm. Is this person getting out of their comfort zone? They're thinking about you. <laughs> They're passionate about you. They are reaping what they've sown. Mm. This person's in an illusion. They overanalyze everything. They're thinking, oh, they're going to get bored with me. They're going to leave me out in the cold. So they stay in their comfort zone with all the same peabodies that have been around this person probably their whole life. You're going against, that's against our religious beliefs. That's against our tradition. That's against our traditional beliefs. But they're light beings. They're spiritual. They're star seeds. They're light beings. So they're actually going against their own selves when they go against you. They're going against their own selves. It is their own insecurities, fear of judgment, because this person is um a visionary and it's like they're rejecting the gifts of the universe a fear of judgment of what other people will say about them
So somebody could have trapped them with a child. And all they had to do is remain positive. Lighten up a bit. Why are they sitting here so damn staunch? Sitting up on their throne like stone cold. At least the Empress has a nice cushiony seat. <laughs> They're sitting on a stone cold freaking podium here. Stubborn. Being very stubborn. They like being the ruler. They like being the boss. They can be very judgmental. They could have been judging you. This person is happy when they're in control. They're very staunch, you know, that energy of, I know what's right. I know. Well, if they knew so much, why is it they're afraid of this light being? when they are a light being. This person can't even own up to the fact that they're a light being. They deny their own gifts. They deny what the universe has shown them, all the visions the universe has shown them. They need to take control of their fears. They allow the fear of what other people say about them to trap them. It's a trap. This person allows their own fears, their own overanalyzation, how are people going to judge me? What are people going to say? What are people going to think? So we're at a point here right now where this person is knows they're a spiritual being. Know that they have a divine path. They know who is their divine partner. Who is their soul love? They know. But they're allowing the fear of what other people say, judging them. Maybe they were raised up traditional. Maybe they were raised up with religious beliefs that would go against their religion or their culture, you know, their culturistic belief systems, the way things should be. And I think that they allowed someone who had traditional beliefs to trap them with a child. That's how they got away with it. Oh, the right thing to do. Oh, I don't believe in adoption. I don't believe in abortion. I don't believe in this. I, it's against my religion. And they fell for the trap. You don't have to be in a union 
to raise a child. But this karmic energy used this guilt trip on this person to trap them with a child. Or they themselves are a child trapped in an adult body. You know what I mean? If there is no child involved. But. They're learning a karmic lesson. Spirit is working up on this person. They need to lighten up. They truly need to lighten up. Ask your soul. Listen to your inner voice. Get out of your comfort zone and get on your north node. Your commitment is being tested. This is a test. The universe tested these two energies. You stayed true to your true north and got on out of your comfort zone and you got on your true north path, your destined path. What did they do? Revolt go the other way. Now they're sitting there all staunch, stubborn. Don't want to admit they took the wrong path. They don't even want to admit that they're a light being. These are light workers. These are people who are here with a special purpose on a special mission and they don't even want to acknowledge that portion of themselves. That's why spirit is driving them inward, causing them to go deeper. That's why they had to learn a harsh lesson with the karmic. This is the last quarter moon in Leo that this person is being told, look, lighten the heck up. Get on your north node. You are a light being. You were called for this mission. You were called for this reason. This is your soul love. So get out of your own way. This person's in their own way. They're too insecure to say, I am a light being. I have a special purpose. I have a mission. That's what spirit's driving them inward. Ask your soul, what is your inner voice telling you to do? Nourish your inner soul. You know who your soul love is. what it's saying it's this month this is Leo season man they're being told lighten the heck up good luck everyone